Hi everyone, welcome to the first episode of the tutorials on how to extract sequences from FASTA files. So what you need to do is to make sure that you have a Linux PC and you should also have CTK installed. I have a tutorial that shows how to install CTK, so check the description box, you'll find a link to that video. So let's get started. And let me also say that the ebook as well as the script for this tutorial are all available on my patreon channel so check the description box for the link and then you can use that to get the materials so take note of that so first we need to visit the ctk github page it has the example command we are going to use so this is the page and i'll leave the link to this page in the description box so when you are here scroll down to this section extract sequences with names in file yes so this is the syntax let me just zoom in a bit so we need to call ctk and we also need to indicate this option subseq and then we supply it with an input file so this can be a fast a file or fast k file but for this tutorial we are going to use a fast a file you also need to indicate a file which contains the name or names of the sequences you want to extract and then you also need to indicate an output file so that's how we do it so it's just very very simple okay so that's what you need to do you first have to get this data this example data here it's also here let me show you where you can find it so the data can be found on one of my github reports which is here i will leave the link to this page in the description below so, so when you are here look for this file ctk underscore files underscore episode one dot zip so there's the input file it's a zip file so we are going to extract the content after we have done so to download just click it and then a page will be shown and then come to the right side here and then click on download alternatively you can right click and go to copy link address and then when you come to the terminal you can use wget and then you supply it with the link so let me just go back so just copy the link address then type wget and then paste it there and then this will download it for you you can also use curl to download that's also fine but i already have mine downloaded but use this command to get it and then you can use the ls command to display it so that's how we do it so i will clear it now so just try and then get the file okay so after you have downloaded the file using the instructions i've given then you can just unzip it okay just unzip it here anyway for the sake of beginners let me just do it again i'll i'll just remove mine and then do it again okay so this is what I'm going to do. I am going to download the file using the link that I copied. So I'll say wget and then I'll just paste the link there, the download link. So this is it. And then I'll execute this command. Okay, the file has been downloaded. So let's check it out. So let's do an ls and we are going to find a file there. So what we are going to do next is to extract the contents of this file. So I will say unzip and then I'll just supply it with the file name and then I'll execute this command. So this will extract the content. So you have ls to display the fast file so these are the input files so this a fast a file which has sequences and then for these sequences we are interested in some of them so those that we want to extract 
the names can be found in this test file names.csc so let's just display this one here so cat names.txt so we have them here so i have four names so these are the sequences of interest okay so there's the gens.fasil file which has lots of sequences we can just do a head to display some so we have some here so we just displayed some of the sequences you can also display all the names you can use a grep to display all the names okay so basically we have lots of sequences here okay so we have lots of sequences here so what we are interested in is those four sequences that i showed those ones that are here so that's what we are going to use 60k for to extract the content so let's get started so to extract the contents we will say 60k and i believe you have already installed 60k so you type 60k and then you say sub seek and then you specify your input file that is gens.fastA and then you indicate names the TST. So there is a command and then we supply it with our output file. So that file can be gens of interest.fastA. Okay, so this is the final command that we will use. Now let me just copy this. I'll paste it again. Let's first do an ls. Sometimes you may be confused because you don't see the name. So you can do an ls first to display the file names like this. And then you can retype your command. So I'll just say 60k subsec. And then I'll say gens.fastA and then names.tst and then I indicate an output file which is gens of interest.fastA. So this is the command that we have to use to subset or extract the sequences. So let's execute this command. Perfect, that has been done. So if you do an ls are going to find another fast a file here so this has the sequences we want you can do a head again here to get some of the sequences by the way let's just clear the screen let's do an ls you can also do a grep confirm by getting the names So you supply it with the new fast a file which is gens of interest at fast a and then when you execute you get the names being shown for you so this is how we do the extraction okay we extract sequences from fast a files. so this is the first part of the series we are also going to look at other scenarios sometimes you may want to extract these sequences let me just show the names again for each of these sequences you may want to extract them in separate output files okay so it's also possible to do that so in the next episode we are going to look at a scenario like that where for each of these names here each of these sequences we extract from the main sequence file that's this one here and then we save them to different output files so join me in the next session I will also put the link to that tutorial in the description box as well. So just make sure to watch that.